Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Nelly Decoder. In today's lecture we're going to be talking about object to primitive conversion. In the previous lectures we talked about objects and how we can manipulate objects and all that. Before diving into this lecture please make sure you watch the previous lectures and draw a script in order to follow along. Let's just dive into the lecture. Objects. What happens when objects are added? For example we have two objects, object 1 and object 2 and we want to add those or, for example, when we want to subtract object, for example, the, the method, and we want to alert an object. So basically, JavaScript doesn't allow you to customize how operators work on objects. We, unlike some other programming languages such as Ruby or C++, we can't implement a special object method to handle addition or other operators. In case of such operations, objects are auto-converted to primitives and then the operation is carried out over these primitives and results in a primitive value. That is an important limitation. The result of, for example, object 1 plus object 2 or another math operation cannot be another object. For example, we cannot make objects representing vectors or metrics or, for example, achievements or whatever, uh, add them and expect a summed object as a result. Such architectural features such architectural feats are automatically off the board. So because we cannot technically do much here, there is no maths with objects in real projects. When it happens, with rare exceptions, it's because of a coding mistake. Then in this lecture, we'll cover how an object converts to primitive and how to customize it. We have two purposes. It will allow us to understand what's going on in case of coding mistakes. For example, if you accidentally convert an object to a string or we uh, console log or alert an object that's basically an object and we uh, treat it as a primitive when such an operation happened accidentally. There are exceptions where such operations are possible and look good. For example, subtracting or comparing dates is basically possible to do. If you remember in the previous lecture, we talked about types convergence. We have seen the rules for numeric string and boolean convergence of primitives. It will left a gap for objects. Now as we know about methods and symbols, it becomes possible to fill it. There is no such conversion to boolean. All objects are true in a boolean context. As simple as that. There exist only numeric and string conversions. The numeric conversion happens when we subtract objects or apply mathematical functions. So for instance, that objects can be subtracted. And the result of, for example, subtracting two objects is the time difference between two dates. As for string conversion, it usually happens when we output an object with, for example, an alert method and similar context. We can implement string and numeric conversion by ourselves using special object methods. Now let's just get into technical details because it's the only way to cover the topic in depth. Let's talk about hints. How does JavaScript basically decide which conversion to apply? There are basically three variants of type conversion that happen in various situations and they are called hints. The first one is basically a string. For an object to string conversion, when we are doing an operation on an object that expects a string, like for example alert. Let's take a look into example and say we have an object, we call it object, and for example we have name over here that's called Jackson and let's see we just want to alert this and I do something like this so as we already know that the alert function basically converts its argument to a string so basically if it's an object now so what happens now and what it outputs when I refresh you can see that we are getting object object so that's how an object is treated the second type of hint is basically called number. For an object to number conversion, like when we are doing maths, let's say we are doing something like this. We have a variable called num, and we convert the object to number, for example. What happens now when we do this, or maybe console log it? Let's save it and refresh. You can see we are getting not a number because it's not a valid number, it's basically an object. So most built-in mathematical functions also include such conversion. And the last hint that we have is basically called default. And it basically occurs in rare cases when the operator is not sure what type of what type to expect. For instance, for example, we have binary plus that can work both with strings. For example, it concatenates the strings 
and numbers basically so when you apply a plus operator on numbers it adds them basically so if uh so if a binary plus gets an object as an argument it uses the default hint to convert it also if an object is compared using for example the double equal with a string number or a symbol it is also unclear which conversion should be done so the default hint is used so as an example let's say we have two objects and we have a result and then we for example we say that we have an object one and we apply the the plus operator on this one and we add them so in this case it's going to use the default hint because it doesn't know what to expect the greater and less comparison operator such as this one or this one can work with both strings and numbers too still they use the number hint not default that's for historical reason so all built-in objects except for one case that's basically the date object we will learn it later basically implements default conversion the same way is number and we probably should do the same to do the conversion javascript tries to find and call three object methods so it basically calls an object with the symbol to primitive and then it takes a hint the method with the symbolic key symbol dot to primitive basically system symbol it's basically a system symbol if such method exists if the hint is string then object dot to string or object dot to value of is called whatever exists in that case otherwise if hint is a number or default then object dot value of or object dot to string whatever exists is called symbol dot primitive so let's start from the first method there's a built-in symbol named symbol dot to primitive that should be used to name the conversion method so if the method symbol dot to primitive exists it is used for all hints and no more methods are needed so let's say for instance we have an object we name it we have a name property over here that's called john we have another property called money and now to this object we are passing this symbol dot to primitive method that will be called when we are passing any value or you know alerting the object but let's say we simply do something like this and then we convert the user object to a primitive by adding the plus and then we apply the plus operator and this and adding 500 to this let's see what it outputs so in here you can see that at the first method we are console logging the user object and then in the second one since we are applying since we're converting the object to a number then the hint is basically the number and we're returning 100 and since in the third one we're again adding 500 to the object so it's basically again a number so but since we're applying the plus operator on this it doesn't know what to add so basically the hint is default so that's why it returns 1500 now what happens if we convert it to alert so since we know every argument that we pass to alert method is converted to a string let's just test it out so in the first hint you can see that we are getting string because yeah, the user object in the first argument is converted to a string so we are getting a hidden string and you are seeing we are getting the name over here since you know that if the hint is string then we just return the name object now the second time the alert is called since we have used the unary plus operator on the object then we are returning the hint number and you can see over here so we say if the hint is a string then return the object otherwise it returns this dot money which is basically 1000 so when i hit ok then you can see we are returning 1000 and at the third time of calling the alert method it returns default because we are applying the binary plus operator on the object and we are adding 500 to it so in this case 500 is added to the numbers and it will return 1500 so as we can see from the code the user object become a self-descriptive string or a money amount depending on the conversion a single method user dot to primitive the single method symbol dot to primitive handles all conversion cases for us now let's just talk about the to string or value of methods if there is no symbol dot to primitive method and the object itself then javascript tries to find methods to string and value of so in the example you have seen that we are defining the symbol dot to primitive method by ourselves so if symbol dot primitive is not there then javascript tries to find methods to string and value of for the string hint the method to string is called and if it doesn't exist then the value of method is called so basically the to string method has a priority for string conversions for other hints other than string the value of method is called and if it doesn't exist then to string method is called so value of has the priority for the math operation or the numbers so basically methods 
to string and value of comes from ancient times. They're not symbols. Symbols did not exist that long ago, but rather regular string name methods. They provide an alternative old style way to implement the conversion. These methods must return a primitive value f to string or value of returns an object, then edits ignored same as if there were no method. By default, a plain object has following to string and value of methods. The to string method returns a string that is basically object object that we have seen in our previous example when I alert the object itself directly and the value of method returns the object itself. So I'll just comment this out for now and also these methods. And I want to check the value of this object and I want to compare it with the user object itself. So basically comparing the value of this user object with the user object itself. If it is true, then it means that that is the same object that you are trying to access. As you can see from the first call to the alert function, we are getting object object that's called, that's basically the string. And in the second call, you can see we're getting true. So it means that we are accessing the same value from the user dot value of. So it means if we try to use an object as a string, like an, an alert or so, then by default, we see object object. The default value of is mentioned here only for the sake of completeness to avoid any confusion. As you can see, it returns the object itself. Don't ask me why, that's for historical reasons, so we can assume it doesn't exist. Now let's implement these methods to customize the conversion. I will leave it commented and I'll implement the two methods over here. So now you can see I declared this two string method over here which returns the name object itself. And then we have the value of method now that returns basically the money. So for instance, here, the user object is the same that we discussed using the combination of the string and value of methods instead of the symbol dot to primitive method. Now let's just pass this user object to these alert methods by adding the unary operator over here and then the binary plus operator over here. So from the first call, when we pass a user object to the alert method, it should be object object, but since we are overriding that to string method, then it returns the object itself. And the second call, as expected, we are just getting the this.money property from the user object. And the third method, since we're adding 500 to this.money, then it returns 1500. So as you can see, the behavior is basically the same as the previous example with the symbol dot to primitive. Sometimes, we want a single catch all place to handle all primitive conversions. In this case, we can implement to string only like this. So when we pass a user object to the alert method, I'll just comment this out for now and we'll see what it outputs. So you can see we're getting the name John and by calling it for the second time, you can see that 500 is now concatenated to the string itself. In the absence of symbol dot to primitive and value of method, to string method will handle all primitive conversion for us. A conversion can return any primitive type. Important thing to know about all primitive conversion methods is that they do not necessarily need return the hinted primitive. There is no control whether to string method returns exactly a string or whether symbol dot to primitive method returns a number for the hint number. The only mandatory thing, these methods must return a primitive, not an object. One thing to keep in mind, for historical reasons, if to string method or value of method returns an object, there is no error, but such value is ignored, like if the method did not exist. That is because in ancient times, there was no good error concept in JavaScript. In contrast, symbol dot to primitive is stricter it must return a primitive, otherwise there will be an error. Now, as we already know, many operators and functions perform type conversion. For example, multiplication converts operands to numbers. If we pass an object as an argument, then there are two stages of calculation. The object is converted to a primitive. If necessary for further calculations, the resulting primitive is also converted. For instance, let's say we have this user object and we have to string method that handles all conversion in the absence of other methods. And then we have this to string method that handles all conversions in the absence of other methods. By passing this object user to the alert method and then multiplying it by two, we will see what it returns. So you can see it basically returns four. That is because the object is converted to a primitive two that is basically a string and then converting the string with a number. Basically this operator converts it to number and then hence we are getting four. So in the first step, you can see the user is the user object is converted to two. And since we have a two string over here that is multiplied by two and it's basically converted to a number, it returns four then. In contrast, if we have user plus two, then the result of the user object that is basically two 
string that will be concatenated with the two. Since the binary operator does not convert it to a number, so it will just gracefully concatenate two with this, the with the two on the right side, and it will return 22 instead of four. So that is basically the end of the lecture, and I hope you have learned something new in this video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to press the bell icon for further updates. And until then, I'll see you in the next lecture.